cows, man. Today is bound to be a bad day for us. No man is coming. They always come at this time. These days, men are poor. They no longer eat in your taste. Peace. Check on that guy. What? My girls, it seems the drought is no more. How may I help you? You know, I'm um, just so glad to meet a kind, handsome and cool guy like you. And um, it's our first time to meet, but then I like the way you've welcomed me. It's so overwhelming. No one does that. Uh, it's no problem at all. Uh, so, like I told you, my heart has really loved you and everything about you. It's never a mistake how we get to meet people and get along with them well. So, can we find a more quiet and private place? This hotel is not so comfortable and I would like to talk so much with you. Do you really mind if you do that? Ah, sure. Uh, I've got to finish something first. This is my wife, Jen, and Jen, this is the young lady I told you about. Uh, you can talk with her. Hello, please. Uh, no, please, please. I'll be back if you excuse me. I guess those are your friends standing in the corner over there. Yes. Wow. You're young and beautiful. Are you at the university? You should not go away. Please stay. I've got to tell you a story. Thank you. You approached my husband and probably asked him to take you to a quiet place and have a conversation. I completely understand. I was like that a few years ago. I was a young, beautiful girl enjoying life at someone's expense it was fun and enjoyable the expensive clothes the perfumes the drinks the crazy parties I remember all do you understand what I'm talking about? yeah good but do you know what? All that changed when I was almost finishing the university. I realized I could not continue like that forever. Those men that picked us every night, they were after us. Because we were university students, easy for them to manipulate. I was almost done with this life and moving to the next step where these men could no longer run after me. I was expendable. I could not go on living like this. Things needed to change. At first, it was very difficult. The loss of money meant I could not wear the expensive clothes like I used to. I could not go partying all weekend like I used to. 
But few weeks later, before my final exams, I met John. John was very different. He wasn't after my beauty, not even my body. Very many guys outside there are after beauty, after our bodies, but John wasn't. He did not even touch my body until I got married. Anyway, it may be a long story, but what I want you to understand is you don't need to do this. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Many may urge you that they do not have choice. But you do. You can choose to protect your body. Concentrate on your studies, graduate, get a job, and maybe get married. But everything comes in God's timing. So here is my number. You can talk to me at any time you want. Because I have a lot to speak to you about this. Excuse me, Mother. Hi dear. How did that go? I can't tell, but I hope I was able to put a small spark in her heart. I know you have. You always do. Aren't you dressing up? That these guys who are coming pick us in five minutes, so we should not be late. Not tonight. I feel like staying just right here. Suit yourself. I think night may be our best night. Hello, is this Jane? 